All right, guys, welcome to today's cooking episode. We're here at Yurimbula National Park and we're going to cook some pulled pork. E porco! So, we've got a nice piece of shoulder. It's about two kilos and that should feed us about, I don't know, six people, eight, maybe ten with kids. So, we're going to do it on the camp oven. All right, and so we've got this beautiful, nice cut of pork right there. Look at that. Beautiful. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start a little dry rub. We're going to get a little bit of garlic, powdered garlic, about that much, a little bit of cumin, about that much, salt and pepper, like that. Little bit of sugar, just to caramelize. Actually, I'll add a bit more garlic and cumin, I think. There we go. It's quite big. So basically, we're mixing that up with our hands and rubbing it all over the pork. Look at that, beautiful. Turn it over. Nice dry rub. Ready to go. All right, so we've got the oven, the camp oven. What we're gonna do, you could braise all the, all the meat first if you wanted to, we're not. We're just gonna put it straight in. A Little bit of oil. I'm going to put the pork right in, like that, add a bit of tom uh, barbecue sauce, not tomato sauce, about that much. We're going to put about half a litre of chicken stock, and because it's about two kilos, we'll probably slow cook it for about two to three hours. So on the first hour, we'll check it. If we need to put more liquid in, we'll put more liquid in. We'll probably cut it up a little bit as well, just to make sure that all the heat's getting inside. And then just slow cook it for three, four, five, however many hours you like, pretty much until it's uh, ready to go. So got a bit of water here as well. So basically you want the full pork covered. A couple of scoops should do the bottom. And then we'll go one on top. And that's it guys, for about an hour. So it's just gonna bubble away for about an hour and we'll check it after that. One hour later. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour. We're just gonna lift the lid and have a look. Whoa, just get you to move into the shadow, out of the shadow. Look at that guys, that's looking awesome beautifully blipping away what we're going to do here now is just lift the lid um, again and just turn it over we've decided that um, it needs to be braised a little bit more on the underside i'm just going to have a look at the underside as well and see how she looks wow yes okay that's looking good all right and we might just continue that method um, the next time we lift the lid which is in an hour all right guys, so that poor pork's been gone for about two or three hours, blipping away slowly. We've actually cut it up into little pieces just so that it heats up nicely inside. It's almost ready to go. We're just giving it another half an hour. So we're just going to make a quick sauce to go with it. So I've got some whole seed mustard. All right, so we'll just put a whole bunch of that. About that much. A bit of salt and pepper. So, we've got some uh, apple cider vinegar, just a little splash of that, about that much. And what we'll do is we'll just marinate the uh, pulled pork into this sauce here. So just give it a quick mix, just like that. 
So once we pull that pork, we'll mix it in and it'll be great. Actually, we also need some tomato sauce. So I'll just grab that. Get tomato sauce. Feel that much? Again, mix it in. Perfect. Ready to go. Alright guys, as a good accompaniment, we're going to get a bit of cabbage and we're going to make a nice coleslaw. Again, these cryvacs, they're so good. So good. You can keep them for ages. Keeps the freshness in. You can pretty much dice it and slice it at home and you don't have to worry about it in camp. So let's get this guy if we get into this bowl. Nice and easy. Look at that. Very good. So a bit of salt and pepper. Not too much pepper for the kids. A little bit of salt. We'll get some nice apple cider vinegar. Give it a good splash. A little bit of mayo. Kewpie. Japanese mayo. Give it a good squirt. Good, we'll just get a spoon and a fork and just mix it up. Oh, look at that. That looks good. Try not to drip seawater. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all good, mate. Ta da! Look, look at that. that. Beautiful. That is gold. That's what, three hours, three and a half hours? Yeah. Very good. Righto, Mark. Let's go. Now, if you drop this. one, you will have to die. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, just breaking away. Good, that's what we want. Nice and soft. Look how juicy that is. We can use that stock for some, for anything else, yeah, eh? For man. risotto yeah. or nice soup, rice dish. Oh my Let's God. Let's have a look here. Look at that, guys. It's gelatinous, Beautiful. soft. Goodness. That's gorgeous. Alright guys, let's see how this is. Look at that. That's just breaking up. And that's why you call it pulled pork, because you're basically pulling it with two forks. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Just breaking up like that. Unbelievable. So we just keep doing this until all the fibers are separated broken up and then we'll mix it up into this sauce that we made earlier that's good look at that so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this lovely sauce over it there we go and that'll moisten it even further beautiful look at that dripping right in there all right guys so we're just going to transfer this onto a silver bowl it's probably easier that's hot Oh no! Oh, oh, oh dude! Oh, oh no! Hey. Oh, amateur hour! <laughs> it's alright. Take Should your I fingers. Eat that bit? Oh. In it goes. I thought I would be able to eat it. You could. <laughs> but you won't. You won't alright, so up. we're just mixing it all up now. Yummy. With all the sauce. That's looking amazing, guys. That is amazing. Who's hungry? Me! Yeah, Me. good, I'm good trying. answer, guys. Good I'm answer. Trying. What are, what are the kids eating? Oh, they're having Vegemite sandwiches, aren't they? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Vegemite sandwiches for the kids. Okay. Yeah. All right, that. what do you reckon? Should we yes. assemble a couple yeah. of rolls here or what, yeah, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. So we've got some buns out in the back. We've got some wraps. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll just assemble this. Here we go. A little bit of pulled pork onto the bun. Like so. Oh, look at that. A little bit of coleslaw. Like so. On top of that. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? Put it together. How's that look? Let's try this, eh?
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hook in, guys. <laughs> guys I'm hiding here amongst the rocks because it's pretty windy out there today but uh, we are now at Middle Creek so Middle Creek's about 12 kilometers from Urimula National Park the Urimula campsite where we're at and we took about like 40 minutes to an hour we had to do a little recovery someone lost their wheel so we had to push them out of the way with a winch but anyway uh, we're here at Middle Creek it's low tide at the moment so there's a lot of exposed banks and what have you a lot of soldier crabs around they're pretty amazing little creatures. They like to corkscrew down into the sediment. Uh, they bioturbate the, sa the sand and the sediment. They're the balls that you see usually. And uh, what they do is they sift through all the sand and pick up all the bacteria and that's how they feed. Anyway, it's a good little spot for fishing as well. We just had a bit of a chat with some locals or some fishermen. They just caught a nice big jack and they were just filling it, filleting it for dinner tonight. So anyway, um, yeah, let's get the drone up and see what's what's around. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. This was a great time again. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Very good guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>